guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for being here with me in this video. We are going to be talking about calming down your hyperactive dog. There are so many different scenarios in which a dog can become entirely too hyper, and it's one of the obstacles that you tend to have to overcome as a trainer. Um, especially, I mean, there are dogs that are just hyperactive in general, um, but as a guest, as a new person coming into a house, the dog can get really excited about that. So whether you are working with a dog who is just in general overly hyper or too hyper, you think, to train. So let's talk about seven different things that you can be doing with your dog to help them overcome all of this hyper energy that they may have. I know I have worked with a number of dogs who have been just super, super hyper and we want to help them calm down, especially in a training situation, but even in everyday situations, if you have guests come over, if you come home, like a lot of times dogs get really overly excited just when you come home, um, whether there are other dogs around, they can get super hyper. There are so many different uh, instances in which a dog can become just overstimulated and super hyper and you would really prefer that your dog calm down. So we're going to talk about that in this video. Okay, so the very first thing you should be doing, especially if you have a hyperactive dog, but even if you don't, dogs thrive on consistency. Dogs thrive on schedule. So if your dog is overly hyper, um, overly sensitive, a lot of times hyperactivity is really insecurity showing its way through. So keeping your dog on a fairly consistent schedule is going to be huge for your dog and for you. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to plan out every minute of every day, but we do want to keep a fairly consistent routine going for your dog. Yourself or someone else come in midday to give them another walk. When you eat dinner, they eat dinner, or when you go for a walk in the evening, your dog comes along with you. So keep all of your routines day to day fairly consistent. This will help your dog with insecurity and help keep their hyperactivity down. All right, the second key to helping your dog overcome some of this hyperactive energy that they may be having is exercise. Oh my goodness, so many dogs are not getting enough exercise and it's probably because we as owners are not getting enough exercise so we're not like, that's not trickling down to our dogs. But especially if you have a hyperactive dog, you really want to make sure that they are getting all of the exercise that they need in a day. So in the morning, you are getting out there on a walk, and I mean a long walk, 30 to 60 minutes, letting your dog sniff and smell everything they wanna sniff and smell, getting all of that out of their system so they can actually calm down and rest while you're getting ready for work, while you go to work, whatever it may be. If you're working from home while you're getting some tasks done, they can calm down and relax because they have sufficiently gotten out their energy in the morning. Make sure you are playing with your dog multiple times throughout the day. We want to get this energy out. We're taking multiple walks a day, especially if your dog has, I mean, every dog is different. And so the exercise that your dog is going to need is going to be different from any other dog. But there, and, and breeds of dogs need different amounts of energy too, but let's focus on your dog specifically and start playing around with how how much you walk a day, how many times you walk a day, um, playing different games with them throughout the day and try to find that ideal balance of you still being able to get what you need to get done but your dog getting all of the exercise they need in a day. So play with them, walk them, maybe go for a run with them if they're the kind of dog that likes to run. Really get out there and make sure your dog is getting sufficient exercise both mentally and physically. All right, another key thing to focus on when you have a hyperactive dog is to be training with them every single day. And it doesn't have to be super, like super, I was gonna say superhuman, but I mean super dog, right? They don't have to be doing all sorts of crazy tricks, but make sure you're doing some sort of uh, cue training with them every single day. I highly recommend, check out the link in the description to my beginner dog training series. This is gonna give you all of the foundations for um, sit, stay, look, lot, a, a lot of different cues, um, really the basics. That way you always have something you can be working with with your dog, whether it's, you know, that you're going to give them a treat. Well, make sure before you give them a treat, you ask them for something so that you can give them the treat, whether that's a look or a sit or a stay. Just continue every single day. It's working their brain. 
right? And it's building that bond between the two of you as well. But working their brain really helps them focus and calm down. Um, now, I will say for a really hyperactive dog, you're going to want to exercise them before you do any sort of training uh, because they're not going to be able to focus otherwise. So do the exercise first and then work on some training once your dog has calmed down enough that you have started to notice that they can actually pay attention to you. Dog sports may also be something that you want to look into, especially if you have a very hyperactive dog. Um, different breeds of dogs were bred for different things, but there are lots of sports out there you can do with your dogs from uh, barn hunts to dock diving to agility. There are so many different things out there. I am sure you'll be able to find something that your dog really loves to do and it's gonna help them get out all of that excess energy that they have. Another thing you want to start training with your dog is impulse control because dogs can become very easily overwhelmed. A lot of times dogs with insecurities really can become overwhelmed easily. And training impulse control, which there are other videos on my channel about impulse control, so um, definitely check out the other videos on my channel. You can just type in impulse control or you can check the links in the description. Um, you are gonna wanna work with your dog on this after you exercise with them, of course, because training always works best after you exercise, but um, impulse control is going to be really, really important because you want your dog to be able to disengage from something that is overstimulating them. Hyperactive dogs are very easily overstimulated. Um, and insecure dogs can also be very easily overstimulated. So working on impulse control, working on that bond and communication between you and your dog so that your dog can actually hone in and focus on you versus whatever stimulus is out there that is distracting them is going to be very important for you and your dog to work on. So when you're working with a hyperactive dog, these are some of the key things that we really need to keep in mind um, just for everyday life, but also if we are trying to train with our dog. All right, guys, so I hope these tips help you to pinpoint some of the reasons that your dog may be hyperactive and the things that you can do every single day to help combat that hyperactivity as well as insecurity in your dog. Um, both mental and physical exercise really are going to be you're going to see the biggest differences with exercise as well as consistency or keeping that routine going um, with your dog every day so that your dog isn't often surprised by things. We really want to make sure our dogs don't feel insecure as much as possible and that is going to help a lot with the hyperactivity as well. So I really hope these tips helped you. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions, if you have any comments. I would really love to hear from you. And don't forget to check out all of the links in the description. There's so many links. There's the beginner dog training series, which I think I've already talked about. Um, my ebook, which is the seven miracle steps, my seven canine commandments that I teach every single one of my in-home clients before we start any real training. Um, these things need to be put in place. So I definitely recommend you checking that out. My Amazon storefront. Oh my goodness. I have handpicked and curated some of the best products that I love for my pets on Amazon and I put them all in one place for you to check out. So definitely check that link in the description and join the group. Yep, we're waiting for you to join. There are thousands of other pet parents already there just waiting for you. Go ahead and click the link in the description and join. I can't wait to see you there and I can't wait to see you in our next video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Look right down there at the subscribe button if it's still red. Why? Why is it still red? Go ahead and click it and turn it gray. When it happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video and you don't have to go looking for it. They'll just let you know. So thanks so much for being here in this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.